Hey guys, it is Friday. Um, it is about 12.30, just after 12.30, and I am home today. Um, Fridays are my, one of my days off. So I am cleaning out. I have not shown you guys this room. There is a whole lot of stuff right here, but this room, no judging, was a room that kind of just, we still have tape around our stuff. This is a room that kind of got everything that I didn't know what to do with when we first moved in, kind of got shoved in here. And for the past three months that we've lived here, I've literally just like shut the door and I have tried to ignore it because this is not how I function. Just throwing stuff in and not putting it away is not at all how I function and it drives me insane. But um, I'm working my way through it. This is kind of my project for today. I don't I don't know that I'm going to get everything done. Does that help? That made it kind of orange. Um, I don't know that I'm going to get everything done today, but I do plan on trying to get a lot of it done. This um, room is pretty much going to be an office. Um, we have a desk and everything that is in storage waiting to come in and then eventually in like a year or so it's going to be a baby's nursery. So I don't have any like immediate need for it at the moment but it drives me absolutely insane that there's crap and boxes that we haven't gone through and a lot of this stuff is stuff that clearly I don't need if we haven't used it in the past three years. There's a lot of wedding stuff. I think I took most of that stuff already down and I have some stuff to donate um, and I just have to like my craft stuff. I just have to go through and separate it out um, and what needs to be saved, what needs to find a new home and what needs to just be tossed. So I'm going through it slowly but I figured I would kind of take you guys along while I do this today. Um, I worked on it for about an hour to an hour and a half already this morning. Um, just doing it like probably like a half hour, 45 minutes at a time. And then I take a break and then I come back to it just so I don't get burned out. And then I don't start, you know, neglecting things and oh, I'll go through this box later and I'll just shove it in a closet or something. So yeah, that's the plan. I need to see. I'm thinking... I'm thinking these doors have been painted, so I can probably take this tape off. There's not going to be organization in here per se, but I do have... Okay, so yeah, there's nothing in this closet. <laughs> I was hoping that there was more room in here. Um, there are obviously like a shelving unit. I was hoping that this side was bigger because I have some shelves downstairs that I was hoping to slide in here to kind of store stuff on, but I don't know that that's going to work. That's where the knobs for the door. Um, yeah, so this is kind of what we're doing in here. And I'm about to actually run across the street and grab some lunch real quick, and then I'll get back to work. Okay, so I just ended that home from Subway, and I wasn't paying attention when I ordered, and I ended up with a full sandwich. So I guess I'll just put the other half in the fridge. Um, I got the chicken bacon ranch. One of the girls at work gets this quite often, and it always looks and smells really good. So I figured I would give that a shot today. So yeah, I'm going to sit down, watch a little bit of TV, eat my lunch and then I'll get started on um, cleaning up that room. Alrighty, so it is uh, about 1.30 and I am ready to get moving again. This has become quite the project. <laughs> um, I found some um, towels that we got for our bridal shower that got lost and I need to take the tags off and wash those so put those over there um this thing let's see I have a feeling you guys are going to be seeing a lot of my feet <laughs> because I'm trying to watch what I'm doing and not watch the screen so much 
um, an Applebee Applebee's gift card that I didn't know we had. So I'll set that in our bedroom for now. Um, I need to put this. We got this for Christmas last year too. Which I want to set up in our office once we get, you know, the office put together. It'll match our desk. So I'm just going to put the memory card for that inside so it doesn't get lost. Um, so I've kind of just been making piles of like what needs to go where. I'm going to start um, not literally like stacking stuff in here because I feel like that could turn out really bad really fast. But the stuff that I do know is staying in here. I am gonna gonna put in here our diplomas, college diplomas. That's what these are. Um, up again. Um, I guess for now I'm just gonna stick in this drawer. I have a ton of like office supply stuff that I need to go through. This rocking chair was mine when I was little, and Matt's totally creeped out by it. But <laughs> I didn't want to get rid of it, and this this is really, really hideous. Um, I don't know if it's going to show up very well, but it has little, um, what are those? Geese? No. Swans? Ducks? I don't know. There's some kind of animal all over them. I need to find a home for this. Um, maybe I'll just stick this right here for the time being. Some tissue paper that needs to go downstairs with all my wrapping supplies. Um, this is all stuff that goes downstairs. I'm kind of filling up this Ikea bag with stuff that needs to go downstairs. <clears throat> we have a second crock pot that I had planned on getting rid of, but it just needs to be cleaned up because it's been in boxes for so long and it's kind of gross. But I think it's kind of a good idea to have a second one because we like to entertain a lot. So I decided I'm not going to get rid of that. This stuff needs to go like to the kitchen. That's the griddle for our grill and some cups. <clears throat> um, these need to go downstairs. These are blessing of the food baskets and just some other baskets that we use for different things. This is <clears throat> kind of like art supplies. This is a whole whole lot. I think I have like 3,000 white very cheap um, faux rose petals that I plan on doing a DIY aisle runner for our wedding with but I had planned on dyeing them because I couldn't find the right color and it didn't work out so they were from the dollar store so they were really cheap I only spent like $20 on them but I don't know what to do with them so if you guys know of any super cute DIYs um, let me know um, a giant wooden spoon like Okay, there is a reason that we have this, and I'm not getting rid of it. It was supposed to be a joke that we we're supposed to give it to Matt's grandma. But we've had it forever and never gave it to her, so... I don't know. This is really funny, guys. Um, this is a little book that I made in daycare. That's me. Um, some of my, like preschool friends I guess more preschool friends family um, my dad and I this I this picture I took out of my out of here and I framed it with one of my wedding pictures with my dad and I for him for Christmas oh no I take that back for Father's Day so yeah this was just <laughs> oh my gosh there's me in that rocking chair how funny is that so I have this, 
My mom had it for the longest time and now I took it so that I could take that picture out of it and use it, obviously, to make a copy of it and put it back in there, but I need to find a home for that because I know Matt has some stuff around here too, like photo albums from his childhood, so I figure we probably could put those together. These are all old sheets that we use as drop cloths, but we're not done painting here, so I kind of need to keep those. They'll go downstairs with the painting stuff. Super fun stuff, guys. If you haven't exited out of this video yet, thank you. What is this? More crap. Baby, stop whining. Sounds like there's glass in there. And there is. What is this? An old, oh, this is a watch box for the watch that I got for graduation from my dad. I keep all my watch boxes. I don't really know why I keep them all, but I do. This is really pretty. I want to put this out on my island. Let's go set this up. Trying to do all this stuff one handed. Okay. So, my kitchen's kind of a mess. My house is not exactly clean. Um. this actually I need to take into that room okay so this thing is super dusty I need to dust it but yeah, stop whining I really like this thing and I think it's super pretty it's just like this black like slate rock thing and then it has three little tea lights that sit in it and then there's these little pebbles that go in it I forgot about this oh it got kind of chipped right there Okay, so let's set you guys right there. Back this up, maybe you guys can see a little bit. And then the rocks just go around it. I mean, don't have to change all the two lights, I don't know. But the ones that I have will, um, work very well. I don't know if they're going to burn very well, but I'll put it in there. I do remember that this thing didn't come with very many rocks. We so had to use them kind of sparingly. Yeah, that works. So yeah, it just looks like that. Kind of cute. Alright, we are getting there. laundry basket needs to go out to the garbage. I'm pretty sure it's in better days. It's like super flimsy and I tried to carry stuff down in it and it like buckled so yeah that's time to go. Baby I do need to go outside. I'm not making you guys dizzy yet. Go. Run free. She chases us as squirrels. She'll be occupied for forever. Okay. The hallway. Fuzz is garbage. Oh my. Okay, so this is gonna sound bad. I'm not the type of person that carries knockoff bags. I just, I don't. Um, I'm sorry if I offend you. If I can't afford the real thing, then I don't pretend to, you know, carry the fake. That's just something that. I don't know. That's just how the type of person I am. My mother in law gave me this that she bought at like an estate sale and I don't know if she thought that it was real but it's clearly not and I don't know what to do with it. I feel bad getting rid of it but I'm just never going to use it. So, I don't know. These pictures what are these? I don't know where these came from. Matt had these way before. See this frame's all like dented up. I don't know these look like they're copies of like hand you guys can see me they look like copies of like hand-drawn pictures or something and then these ones 
which actually I do think these are kind of cool. But I don't know what to do with them. So we're just going to put them right there on top of that picture frame for now. It's in here. Okay. Matt has like 550 backpacks. Like, okay, I can show you three. One, two. And then he has that bag. Three. And I know there's more around here. And I have no idea what's in them, so I feel like I can't be the person that goes through them. But it's like, what the heck am I supposed to do with all these bags? He probably say it says the same thing about my purses, I'm sure. And then my other question, we both have old computers that no longer work. Um, actually, both of ours had the same issue. The um, cards went out in them. The, the graphics card, that's the word I'm looking for, went out in both of our computers, or old computers. And so we have them, because I don't know how to get rid of old computers. So I'm just going to stick them up there. Because... I don't know. I don't know how to... How do you dispose of them? I know like you can take the hard drive out and break the hard drive and then pretty much throw them away. Which I might do, but... I don't know. Okay, so... I have found that I have way too many blank thank you notes. I like... collect them, apparently. So I have all these. And I have a ton more down here. These were invitations that I had planned on using for something. I don't remember what. Nothing wedding related, but I have all these packs of invitations. So I think I'm going to end up using them as like thank you notes. I don't know. I feel like we're like borderline hoarders with all this crap. This book, if you guys have never read it, it's really good. It's called The Girls' Night Inn. Um, more like writing utensils and glue. I guess I can go in there for now until I figure out what I'm doing with those. A crap ton of pens. I collect pens. I don't know why I collect pens. Night home. This we can actually use. This is like the old version of it. And I actually have, well I think I already got rid of mine, but I had one too. The white one. And our bedroom's a mess. Um, my bed is not made because... I have no idea what that noise was. Um, my bed's not made because I'm doing a washing bedding today. So I just haven't gotten there yet. All right, I'm gonna show you one last view around in here. This is where I'm at right now. And I'm gonna work for probably an hour and then I'll update you guys. Okay, so it's only been like two minutes since I turned the camera off, but I found this. Um, this is the Bride and Groom Challenge, the game to get to know each other better. Um, and it's just like this long quiz um, about different things. So, you, it's kind of like the newlywed game almost. And um, about the groom, pop culture, personality, talent, book smarts. It kind of has like things like that. So, I ended up buying this. Or I didn't buy it. Okay. What happened was I had purchased something for our wedding. I think it was like the long line bra for my dress and then I ended up not being able to use it so because I didn't buy my dress from um, David's bridal they wouldn't let me return the bra I can only exchange it for merchandise and the bra itself was like I think it was like $130 so I had $130 let's write this over so I had $130 worth of like money that I had to spend in the store. So I bought a few things. I bought like a sweatsuit, um, our Unity candle, and a few other things. And then I bought this, which was only like $10. So, and I forgot about it. But we are going um, over Halloween weekend, so just over a month, we are going to Pittsburgh for a long weekend. And I figured 
that this would kind of be fun to do while we're there maybe. Um, we're not able to take a um, like an anniversary trip this year because um, just our schedules and it didn't work out in our schedules to be able to do that. So we're kind of counting this it's like a month early but we're counting it as like our anniversary long weekend. So we're going to be gone for four and a half four and a half almost five days so i figured that would be kind of fun to do while we're there all right i have to get cleaning do i need a picture of matt's grandma's dog i don't know so many decisions and i feel like i can't do this with him around this is going to sound really bad but i feel like i can't do a lot of this stuff with him around because he's somebody that doesn't throw stuff away and I know, I know I'm not the only wife that has that issue, so. All right, I'll be back. Okay, so I didn't get as far as I wanted because I had a phone call that I had to take. But I have purses here that have clearly collected a ton of crap. So I'm gonna go through these and throw the stuff away, put stuff away, and yeah, so that's where we're at. Another watch box. This one actually has links and stuff in it that I need, so I'll save this one. Can you tell Matt and I are both big watch people? The card for my mom on the wedding day. That's super sweet. What is this? Receipts. Um another card because I just I'm not good at throwing cards away but I know that there's okay so this is another thing I came across that I thought was really funny this was a gift that Matt and I received last Christmas we got married in December so a lot of our Christmas presents were like joint Christmas gifts I guess but this is the crib dribbler feeding system it is perfect for um, infant energy drink water and juice, stew, cocoa, formula, and milk. And it looks like that. Isn't that funny? Okay, so it says, part of a healthy upbringing. And then if you flip the box over, it says, complete with other great products. So there's a snack tray <laughs> that can go with it. Oh, they have a coupon for $4 off this energy drink for infants. Giving babies their independence since 1972. I forgot I had a baby for six wonderful hours. My husband and I enjoyed a romantic di dinner on a Tuesday. I thought this was so funny. It's just an empty box and apparently it says prank you. Calm down, your real present is inside. These were boxes that you could buy, I guess at Target. Um, my mom's boyfriend bought these for us, and it was really funny. These are the other ones. This is what my mom got. A bathe and brew coffee sh maker shower head. Because my mom is really particular with her shower heads, which is really funny. And then we got the crib dribbler. And then um, she's, like, obsessed with coffee. So that one was really funny. And then what are these? This is what my aunt and uncle got. Bacon, scented dryer sheets. There's another one. This. this is what my grandma got, which was the pet sweep. Animal power powered debris removal. So you put little brooms or these like mopping things on animal sweep. I don't know. I just thought these were super cute. These were from Target last year, and I guess you got like the set of four or whatever. I didn't see them, but I thought the boxes were super funny. We saved ours. I just kind of got beat up, but I saved it to try and reuse this year, but it definitely got beat up, so I don't know how that's going to work. All right, I just thought I would share that with you guys. I thought it was super funny. All right, so it is about 6.30, and it doesn't look like I did anything in here today. I actually threw away quite a bit. Um, this is another box of garbage that's not totally full yet. But I started kind of just stacking stuff in here. I need to go. We're going to go tonight and see if I can find something for storage. Because this bar here, unless we can remove this, it's just not 
going to allow for the storage things that I had planned on putting in here. So we'll have to see if I if Matt can remove that when we get home. I don't see why not, but we'll see. And then I did kind of work my way through here. So I don't know. Maybe when I'm editing, I'll kind of notice if I'm making any dent in this stuff or not. Um, I have three boxes of stuff to donate, which is always good. I try to donate as much as I can within reason. Obviously, I know if people aren't going to use it or if it's not something that I would ever use, that's not usable, I throw it away. But yeah, that's kind of where we're at. We'll see. Um, I might come back in here and work a little bit more tomorrow, but I haven't decided yet. All right, I hope you guys have a good night. Hopefully this wasn't too boring. Um, and I will be back with another video soon. Bye, guys.